So in the previous uh, lesson, we looked at how we could use the spot healing brush tool to remove fine details like cables and things. And those edits were incidentally, if you remember, they were stored in the retouching work layer. That has a visibility icon just here. And if I click on the eyeball, which indicates that it is visible, that layer, to hide it, you can see now that that was before. If I go back and click in the same area, turn that layer on, we've now hidden that cable. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to try to remove the buildings just to the right side of the lighthouse. My suggestion is before we do that is just to zoom in, get a good clear view of that area, switch back to your spot healing brush tool. All the options will be the same as before and then try and remove any small details that you don't like the look of inside of here. So for example, this little tower area here, get rid of that because it's going to be problematic. We don't want it being picked up. So if I hover my spot healing brush tool over there, click and drag over that region and get rid of it like so. Also, maybe the satellite, if it's kind enough, it might let me get away with doing that. Yeah, that's better than what it looked like. A couple of clicks in there, it might put some reads back in there. Yeah, that looks better than before. If you really wanted to, you could click and hold down and drag across the mast in there as well. Again, it might be one other region that it can get rid of nice and quickly for us just to get rid of those portions that could be problematic. We just wanted to focus on this region of these two buildings. So that would be my suggestion. Get any rid of any fine details that you don't want to be picked up and repeated in the area that want to remove. And then here, well, I need to go back to my tools panel, go to the third set of tools down. These are lasso tools and we need to choose the polygonal lasso tool. Make sure the mode at the top is set to new, feather set to zero. We don't want any soft feathered edges in there. And then make sure that, well, wherever you see the anti-alias checkbox, Make sure it's turned on. It's just for screen viewing. It's got nothing to do with print or what the end result will look like, but it's just to visually show our selection area on screen. And then, well, I'm going to start here. I'm going to left click and let go. And it's just a series of left click, move somewhere else, left click again. And you're going to draw a series of straight lines around here. Like so going around those buildings, left click back at the start point and it turns it into a selection. So that is the main thing really. Now we've got everything we want to remove in a selection. We've still got the retouching work layer active. And then we're going to head to edit and then choose content aware fill. When this pops up on screen, do just make sure that um, you have up at the top right hand side, this checkbox must be turned on to sample all layers because the layer that we've got active at the moment is predominantly empty. And then also make sure that the auto option is turned on in there. You'll have to turn them on in that order. Sample all layers first and then auto. It'll make life much, much easier. So from here then, we can see that those two buildings have been removed. We've got a little bit of a repeating pattern in here. So I would suggest from here, pick up my hand tool from the top left hand side, drag across and then possibly just pick up the zoom tool, hold down the alt key and zoom out a little bit to get a, a view of this region. So this is our end result. That's just what the image will look like when we've done and clicked OK. This window here is showing us the areas highlighted in green. Uh, you might get a pop up dialog box that appears when you enter this uh, this dialog and telling you that uh, you need to define areas in green that you wish to um, use as samples. That's what it will be referring to. These are the areas it's going to use that highlighted in green to remove the things we don't want to see. So my suggestion would be if you're getting undesirable results, go to what's called your sampling tool right at the top. The mode should change to subtract automatically. If not, just choose the one that's got minus inside. Size is set to 166 in my case. I think the default's 124. Just take a look at the size of your brush tip in there. And you can just drag over a region that you don't want to be possibly activated. Um, now we've got a little bit of repeating grass in here. And we've also got some kind of random floating sand as well. So we try and remove that if we can. Um, so I'm just going to go back and change the mode to um, add to. I'm going to add in some of this grass along here, along the horizon, if we can, just see if that'll give us any change. Slightly better, slightly better. And then I'm going to change the mode back to subtract. 
um, possibly change the size of it down to something about maybe some, something like about 50. Click away from there and then just remove that bit of sand that it's possibly sampling from around here. Yeah, um, it's a little bit better. And I think with that done, we don't want to risk doing too much to this because it gets very upset if you keep tweaking this over and over again. Uh, but I think, think for now, we've got the bulk of it removed. That's fine. Um, and from here, just make sure that the output two is set to the current layer and then you can click OK. There we go. Always go to the top and choose select, deselect. And if I turn the visibility off, that was before and that's after. So for a few minutes of kind of perseverance, you can remove some of those eyesores from an image. Last tweaks in here. Well, I could always pick up my zoom tool, zoom into that region and just maybe going to something like my spot healing brush tool because it is very forgiving making sure the options are still exactly the same. Make sure that you are making these edits in the retouching work layer again is maybe just to click and drag across this region here. Just see if it will vary the grass a little bit. And then over here, maybe change some of these repeating ones as well. See if it will sample from something else. And you can quite often just vary that little bit. Again, there's a bit of a repeating pattern in there. So yeah, maybe just go over that region here like so. And I'll go up to view and then choose fit on screen. So yeah, all of our edits are separated in a new layer that was added in the previous video. You can turn that on and off to see before and after we've improved that image and we've kept the edit separate as well. So this will require us to save this as a Photoshop document. So before you close this document down, do just make sure that you save this as a PSD Photoshop document in the working folder as we have done for the other videos.